Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create your own digital story using Microsoft PowerPoint. In this video tutorial, I will look at three things. Firstly, how to add audio narration to each slide, how to use transitions, and how to get the timings correct if you're going to use photos or and the narration so that it flows so that one slide and the narration for, are followed by another slide and the narration and so on and if you use transitions or uh, effects within it in terms of photos appearing and disappearing then again how to do that timing correctly So let's start. So firstly, we're going to open PowerPoint. So you need to open your PowerPoint. Oops, PowerPoint app. So I'm going to open mine. Now, please remember this is in Mac 2016. You may have Windows, totally fine. Most of the functionality is exactly the same. So I'm just going to minimize this one. We'll look at that in a bit. And I'm going to maximize the whole presentation like so. So the first thing to to do is to change the ratio of the slides because it's in widescreen. And really, most PowerPoints, most uh, presentations are done in four by three rather than widescreen. So I'm just going to start from the home uh, ribbon. And then we'll just have a look. So you can see here, this is paste, new slide. So if you click this little arrow here, you can see there's a range of different types of slides that you can use. You don't need to, you could just use a blank slide and add stuff on. It's entirely up to you, whichever works for you. I'll start with the title slide and maybe I'll use a few of these and including a blank one just for you to get an idea of how to do this, okay? And then you can see here layouts. So you can have other different types of layouts. If I was to click any of these, I could use this as a background, for example, here. So I could have this. Um, it depends on whether that's useful. Yeah. Now, some students last year have used some existing kind of um, themes uh, like this one, the, but more abstract. Um, again, I'll show you that when I show you an example of this. So you can use it. I'm going to just use it very plain because there's an advantage to using it very plain because you can do a lot of different things, um, uh, including changing the color of the background. So I'm going to keep it there. And, and then insert is, as it says, it's about inserting stuff. And you can see you can insert shapes, icons. You can have 3D things. You can have smart art. Try and keep it straightforward. You can even create your own charts inside this app. But you can have tables. <coughs> you can put pictures. You can take screenshots of your computer screen. And if you see here, insert the first most important thing. Look, audio. Can you see this? And it says record. Now, you can actually... In, in, upload audio from a file. So if I was to record some audio on my phone, I can actually upload that here by going audio from file and clicking on it and then adding it here. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it through here. Um, and if I have time, I will actually go through and do a little bit of an audio clip and then uh, upload it as well. And let's see how that works. Okay, so um, text box, yes, if you want to write text, you click that one. Headers and footers, not really useful. Word art, again, if you want to create um, unusual kind of graphics, you can do that here. Yeah, date and time, slide number, don't really need any of those. Zoom is interesting, I haven't used that. Um, again, you can have a go. The important thing is actually to try and use all the functionality in terms of when you're developing it, not necessarily in your final one, so you can understand how to use PowerPoint and get the most out of it. That's part of it. So I'm at design, and in design is all this, but on this side it says slide size. So I'm going to have standard. Instead of 16 by 9, I want to have 4 by 3. There you go. I think that's the standard thing. It doesn't matter if you want to do it. Um, let me just have a look at see what the students did last year. Um, Okay, they used widescreen. So that's fine. We could use widescreen as well. Um, so it doesn't matter whichever way you want to do it. If you want to do it this way, we want to keep it to your widescreen. 
that's totally fine, entirely up to you. But recognize that most PowerPoint projectors do it at this, at, you know, are, are, are more square in presenting rather than widescreen. So it's often easier if you actually work in this mode so to so that it it, it it comes across appropriately um i'll just give another example let me just have a look at how this looks i have a widescreen computer it doesn't look too bad does it hello, okay hello. oops hello okay so let's go back to this so this is your title slide you're going to make it nice and jazzy you might even uh, 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 put your photos here or you might have it on the next page so remember one of the things to do which is these extra slides is for you to have a front slide and then to for for example I'll just insert one here new slide uh, have a second slide uh, I'll put it this way which is the team yeah your team and who was involved and maybe have a picture and have a little bit of uh, voiceover from everyone saying what they're saying yeah um, so that's really important um, and that's really nice okay so let's start at the beginning you know this is your title and I'm, I'm gonna create my own kind of project I'm gonna make it up it's a healthy urban planning project yeah it's a healthy urban planning project um, that I'm interested in and in fact I could have actually used uh, some nice pictures but I'm not going to I'm just going to keep it very plain just to make sure you get this point so my first thing is going to be right that I am going to do some audio so now I'm not sure how this is going to work because I'm recording into this video as well as I'm going to try and record uh, audio using this insert function yeah so I'm going to record audio into this PowerPoint yeah and so let's see what happens so I'm going to record audio now yeah and normally you can change that and say front first slide front cover slide yeah and then I'll just press this record button so I'm going to press the record button so this digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues, including stakeholders that were involved um, and uh, the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Right, I've just talked it through. Obviously, you are going to have some much nicer stuff. You're going to talk about it in a much more interesting way. Let's just listen over to what's said. So, this digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues, including stakeholders that were involved um, and uh, the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Right, I've just talked it through. So I'm going to insert that. Now, don't leave it in the middle. Move it. Move it right to the top corner. Top corner is generally the, the place where it's least going to be disturbed. Now, you can see I've highlighted it. You can see these little squares. So that means it's highlighted. And you can see I've got something here called playback and audio format. Don't really need to worry about audio format, but you can worry about playback. <clears throat> And so the first thing you do is, can you see where it says start in click sequence? No, do it automatically. And also hide during the show. So you won't see this little icon with the, you know, volume kind of arcs here and this little kind of uh, speaker system here. That would be hidden. Yeah. And then make that automatic. So you do those two things. And this is what happens when you do that. This is what happens as I'll play it now. So if I play the slideshow now. So so this digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues including <coughs> stakeholders that were involved um, and at the issues related to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Right, I've just talked it through. Now, of course, I've just, I've just, I've just 
made a little error at the end, so well, I'm a bit stuck, aren't I? There's a little bit of a thing. Now, you, this this is okay. doesn't matter. You could just leave it in. Or there is a little bit of an editing function in PowerPoint, which is this here, this trim audio here, which I've just clicked. Let me just cancel that. Trim audio. So if you make a mistake at the beginning or at the end, you can actually remove some of that uh, 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 audio so for example at the end uh, you know I, I say a number of things it just sounded a bit so odd this digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow this digital story we look at a number of issues including stakeholders that were involved um, and at the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well so I'm going to stop it there. I didn't really want the other bits. So this is about two minutes or two seconds, sorry, two seconds, 32 something milliseconds um, uh, before the end. Yeah. So this bit I don't really want. So in which case I can actually just remove it by just going there up to here. Now, just before I trim it, I can actually just make sure, listen to it. Maybe, what if I what, I wasn't sure? Right. I've so, it's where I say right. I don't want anything there. So, I'll just move it here. Oh. Valuation as well. So, that's okay. There's a little bit of sound. I could probably get rid of a little bit more to about there. Evaluation as well. That's fine. So I'm going to trim it. So I've got rid of all this bit at the end, which I didn't want. Okay, done. Fantastic. So now when I play it, it will play across there. And you can see how, how what the time is so by looking. Digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues including stakeholders that were involved um, and at the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Now you can see here I've just done about 24 seconds worth you obviously do about a minute you need to talk to your group lecturers just to uh, work out you know is it about 10 minutes or so I think we we thought about this year I'm not sure exactly what your group lecturers uh, have decided so please talk to them about it so try and stick to the 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 sound limit for example the the time limit for for how much audio you have and also really importantly as you can see the way I was stuttering I'm kind of doing it on purpose because if it was a really professional job that I did you all think oh wow I'm not going to be able to do it so one thing is to actually do a script and secondly a smile while you're talking and don't just read it out imagine yourself talking to someone uh, across the screen so that way you're talking in a reasonably slow way so people can then when they're listening to it actually understand everything that you say okay so that's the first slide let's go on to the second slide this is my team and obviously that's just me at the moment I can have a nice picture and so again I'm going to do some audio so I'm going to insert audio record from audio and I'm going to put this is the team slide and it's Salim because we can record everyone's audio individually so everybody's talking on it that would be nice hi this is Salim um, I'm one of the people involved in this project I looked at the background slide again move it into the corner you can see here when you get to the corner properly yeah just it's hiding it's nice away from everything you can then play around with it so I'm going to listen to that again hi this is Salim um, I'm one of the people involved in this project I looked at the background slide now you can see this was very good you know this is the thing the first the first your first audition uh, of your audio is li not likely to be the best one so my advice is you know just press delete make sure you've highlighted it and then press the delete button on your keyboard now one thing I did not say and I'll come back to this just now is this volume thing so let me just go back I'm going to delete this and I'm going to re-record it so let me just go into insert and audio and record so this is team slide 
Salim. I'm going to record it. Hi, this is Salim. I'm part of the team that looked at this project and I have uh, narrated the background slide. Again, put it in the middle, uh, put it at the top, sorry. Recorded. Hi, this is Salim. I'm part of the team that looked at this project and I have uh, narrated the background slide. So you can see here, there's something at the beginning, so I could actually trim it. So I can go into playback, trim, and then you can see at the beginning, there's a little bit of stuff that I don't really want. So maybe up, up to about there. Hi, this is... Yeah, so I can probably just a little bit there. Let me just restart it just to make sure. Hi, this is Salim. I'm part of the team that looked at this project. And so I'm going to trim that so you can see now. Hi, this is Salim. It's I'm much part better. Of the team that looked at this project and I have uh, narrated the background slide. You can still see I was a bit stumbly there. So if I had actually written out what exactly I was going to say and we'd agreed it as a team, you know, it would be much better. Now, you can see here, first of all, I need to do automatically. I can also do one more thing, which is volume. So let's say my volume was too high. I could actually make it medium or low. Hi, this is Salim. I'm part of the team. Now you can't really tell there, but let me do it low and let me see if we, we get... So you can see that it's very low. So if it happens that your voices are going up and down and someone's really very loud, you can actually try and get everyone to be roughly equal by using this to modulate some of the... Now this is very crude. It's not, you know, like a mixer, sound mixer, but it, it's better than nothing. And it's pretty good, I think. Hi, this is... So there we are. And then you can make it medium. Salim, I'm part of the team that looked at this project and I... So you record it first, then you you listen to everyone's and then you say, make a decision, say, okay, someone's a bit too loud, so I'll make the medium. Some are a bit too low, so I'll make the medium or high so that their voice kind of comes through on the slide. So you don't constantly have shifting sound because it can be quite... Um, uh, irritating and quite uh, frustrating if lots of different voices at different pitches and different levels. So try and talk in a in a similar way. You're not shouting into the mic. And this is the other thing. If you can use headphone mics, that would be really good. I mean, for those of you who got very posh headphone headphones, that those would be good to use because when they're connected, you're just picking up the sound from your voice and not from the environment. So if you use the computer mic, you know the the microphone that's connected that's embedded in your computer, they're not so good. Um, it's better to either use wired headphones or, or wireless headphones, either will be good, that has a microphone. So then you're picking up, and ideally if all of you use the same headphones, that would again make sure that the sound is similar. Yeah, so I'll just do that. Now you can make your, <coughs> make your sound <coughs> fade in and out. I've, I'm not really sure what's the value of that. You can also add a bookmark. Again, not really sure. So I'm going to hide the show automatically and check the volume. Those three things you need to do for everything. So I'm going to now move on to the third slide, you know, for the background slide. So again, pick a slide, maybe an empty slide, maybe put your pictures here. I'm going to just make some silly shapes here. If there's a picture, I wonder if there is any pictures from file that I want to use. No, I won't do that. I'll just use, I'll just make some, some, you know, picture there. So this is the last thing I want to talk about. So we've got three. Now I haven't put any narration here, so I'll just leave that. That's not, not a problem. Now, you, remember you can do transitions and you can do fade-ins and you can do animations. I'm not going to go into it, but you can animate these things. So for example, this thing here, I've highlighted, I've gone into animations. I can make it do this. I can make it go like this or like this. Now, don't get too carried away. Don't do too much stuff. A little bit is okay. And you can see here, this is on click. You want it to come after previous because you want it to play. Remember, you want to play. You don't want the lecturer. You don't want the watcher of your digital story to be constantly clicking. Yeah. And so here I can do duration. I'll make it a bit longer. So it's a slow thing. 
So let's just try that again. See, so and if you do it a bit longer, let's say um, two seconds, it, click that. That's okay. So we've connected that. I think I've got two here. One's timed after previous, and this one I'll just delete this second one. I just need one, the smiley face. So you can see here, it will tell you how the animations are going to go down here, uh, depending on what you've kind of connected. Don't worry too much. You know, you don't need to get into this. What you can do, and I think what is nice, is if you do uh, a fade in for a transition. Transition is, so for example, I'm going to just do this as a slideshow. So this digital story is about healthy urban planning. Uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues including stakeholders that were involved um, and uh, the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Now you can see here I'm gonna have to click Hi, to do this it. Is Salim. I'm part of the team that looked at this project and I have uh, narrated the background slide. And again, so one of the things I've forgotten is I want this to flow, isn't it? It needs to be going from one slide to the next, yeah? So one of the things we can do, oops, I'm going to look at this in a bit in terms of how they've done it and look at the same things that they've done. Oops, let me just minimize that. Let me go back to my boring one. Presentation three is here. So you can see here, it's not moving, yeah? And so this is where the transition can. So what we can do is we can do a nice gentle phase transition like this or a fade push. Uh, you know, don't, again, don't be too, don't do too many different ones to try and stick to one type across the whole thing. Otherwise it gets quite uh, confusing. And this tells you how, you know, if you want it a bit slower, I, pre I generally prefer slower transitions you can they can there are some silly sounds but i wouldn't advise you to put any of these sounds in you can have like a bomb yeah or a breeze but I, I wouldn't i mean you can mess about with it and see what it is but but uh, and you can see here it says on mouse click yeah and really we don't want that we just want it to happen so for example it could be just after you know a couple of seconds or zero in this one and i'm going to just do apply to all so what that means is it's going to do the same like fade to everything so i'm going to apply to all here yeah what that means is if i go here that's got fade there is after naught seconds right so let's see now hopefully they should the slide should all come one after the other i hope let's see oops didn't start at the wrong started at the wrong slide start at the first slide so so this digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story will look at a number of issues, including stakeholders that were involved um, and uh, the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well. Hi, this is Salim. I'm part of the team that looked at this project and I have uh, narrated the background slide. So you can see here, not too bad, eh? not too shabby even then. So you see I've done duration about 70 milliseconds, something like that. Uh, or, yeah, uh, it's 0.7 of a second. Uh, so I've clicked off mouse click and done after and then immediately after that. So you can again put a little bit of uh, milliseconds there. I don't think you need to. I think this is fine. Yeah. And as I said, I used apply all, so it applied it to all the slides. Um, for example, let's do this one. Shall we do a, a, a split? Uh, yeah. And then apply it all. And I'll just quickly do that one more time. So you can see, okay. I, I think it's a bit so too flashy. This, this one. Digital story is about healthy urban planning uh, in Hounslow. This digital story we look at a number of issues including the stakeholders that were involved um, and uh, the issues relating to how the project was developed and uh, look at a little bit at evaluation as well hi this is Salim. i'm part of the team that looked at this project and i have uh, narrated the background slide 
So let's have a look at some of the other ones that I've just shown you before. So let's look at a couple of the ones that students did last year and then we can just explore how they did it. So they've done the same thing. So this is one of the ones that was done last year and I've just called it, this is an interesting project. Yeah. And they've done the same thing. So if you go here and you click on, so I've, as you can see here, I've put it on the top. They didn't put it there, but I would advise you to put it in the top right hand corner as the least uh, intrusive place. And then once I click on it, you can see playback comes and look, they've done the same. Start automatically hide. Yeah. Um, obviously they haven't used anything else and that's totally fine. Have they used a transition? I think they probably have. Look, they've used a reveal transition here. Yeah. So this group used the reveal transition. They've done it on mouse click. But if you remember, I said we don't want mouse click. So this is the one thing we can get rid of on their side. We don't want mouse click. We want after and we want to apply it to everything. Yeah. And look, their duration is about three seconds seconds three seconds 3.4 seconds yeah there yeah apologies you know i'm not usually working in milliseconds and centiseconds so it's a bit awkward to read bit parts of a second yeah so we've applied it to all fantastic let's check the audio now i haven't done the audio for all of them but i've done it for some of them so let's see so hi during short automatically let me just see if they've done it for everything they may have yeah, they have. So I'm going to just play this now. And so let's have a look and now think about how we did it. You see, this looks really nice, but it's the same thing. You know, think about this, you know, dark white, white writing on dark background. Look at the lovely pictures they've got. They're all real pictures that they've taken, uh, or, you know, either now uh, at this moment in time or, or in the past, you know, um, so it's really cool to use your own stuff. Don't just get stuff off the internet. Hello everyone and welcome to this digital story of Walk to School, presented by Lucy, Mammy, Ramsha, Saba, Chelsea and Dorantina. Introduction, aims and objectives, encourage more walking to school, limit transports, reduce... So you can see here, did you see that transition? Oops, let me... Did you see that transition that just happened? Oops. I hope you did. Yeah, you, you should hopefully have seen that transition um, that just happened. So let me show this again. So let me run this again. So you remember their transition is this reveal transition. Yeah, can you see it? That's how it comes. Reveal transition. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at another one. Just to give you another example uh, of of of. Uh, this use and a slightly different approach and again i've had to add it in i think this one they definitely haven't done all of them and one of the things i want to do is see what happens when you don't if you do in click sequence for this right see what happens when we get to the third slide so let's have a listen to this one Now you can see here, I have, I do need to press. And what we, what we wanted was all of this should be automatic. All of this should be automatic. So let's go back in. And this is the, another thing I want to show you. So let's go back in. And so all of these items, right, they have moved, they are making it so that they move. So what we need is animation. We need animations so that all these little bits are and that are animated that fly in so for example let's just run with this um there should be a, a slide bar that uh, appears animation pane so this animation pane shows you look another interesting about a google shape which which one is it so you can see it's numbered second third fourth so these are the photos yeah. So what we want here is, can you see that pointer? We don't want that pointer. We actually want that, all of that to start after previous. Yeah. So, and we could have a bit of timing. I'm not going to put the timing in. You can mess about with that. So you can, if it's too fast, you can slow it down by putting a little bit of time between each of the transitions. So let's just test this out. If we play, I'm going to play all of it. There's one, two, 
So you can see that you could f make the photos come a bit slower, this yeah? And there it is, fantastic. So we've done it now, so we'll just start it again. Physical activity and dieting in reducing childhood obesity in Southern Peru. The title of the project is called the Active Life Project. Now you can see it's not moved on, which I was expecting to. Oh, they've got a very nice transition. Again, the same thing. Look, okay. So we're going to click. So let's just come out of that. So again, between here and here, the transition, their transition, can you see, is on mouse click. We don't want mouse click. We want just after. So apply to all. Yeah. And then we click here, this one, and it's the same thing. Look, group members, you could, because remember the animation, the animation pane here. Yeah. Oops, oops, there it is. So all these where he's got mouse click, we don't want mouse clicks, we want after previous, so they come one after the other, yeah? Come one after the other, the slides, and then the narration happens, yeah? So let's look at that again. Okay, start from the beginning. Physical activity and dieting in reducing childhood obesity in Southern Peru. The title of the project is called the Active Life Project. The group members are So you can see here, actually the narration here, the narration should have been at the beginning, isn't it? The group members are, and then the photos come. But actually the sound is at the end. So what do you do? Well, actually what do you do is you just move it up. You move the recording. Can you see it? Recorded sound. You move it up, 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 right to the top. Yeah. So now that will play first, and then the photos will appear as so. The group members are... Now you can see here again we forgot this thing so we need to get rid of it because it looks ugly hide during the show so again one more time the group members are isn't that nicer not too difficult i hope you'd uh, uh, agree with me it does take time you know they've put all these transition in they must have spent some time on this introduction aims and objectives to promote physical activity and healthy eating maintaining healthier weight living healthier life preventing overweight or obese among school age children okay i'm going to stop it there you can see that the, some of the sound you could actually possibly make it a bit higher but actually they're at high so okay we can't really do much about that uh, obviously we just need to increase the sound volume on the computer that we're watching this on so that's there you can see here they've got lots of again lovely pictures that's what we want you know really interesting yeah critical analysis really important again let's just have a quick look at that does that work as we hoped yes it does Physical activity, pros and cons, holding sport or competition. Now, I'm going to stop there. Now you can see the person's reading really nicely, but the problem is they are reading. They're not talking to someone else. And what you need to be doing is almost talking to someone and slowing down. Once you have a script, it's very easy to start speaking very quickly and you've got lots to say. And you're just saying, actually, you need to slow down. So it's better to say a bit less so that the audience can understand what you're actually talking about. Yeah. And then there's a nice picture at the end again, you know. So you can add a few extra uh, pictures that don't add to anything, but just make it a much more interesting PowerPoint, yeah? Um, but you can see they've still kept you within the limits of, of the number of slides they need, yeah? Okay, so that's fine. Two final points I want to make. Um, you can actually make these smaller and larger. I didn't actually say that. So you can actually make these quite small. And it'd be useful to make it not not too small, uh, but a, a reasonable size, but not too big either. And then that stays out of the way. So that's a, a, often a useful trick. Um, 
The last thing is just make sure that you've gone through all the slides one time and just played it out and try it also in the, so if you used it on a Mac, make sure you try it on a Windows computer. And if you've used it on a Windows computer, make sure you've tried it on the, the systems at the university with the new Windows 10. Cause remember that's the one we're going to play it on. So it's really important to, to, to do that. Now some students have done and exported it as a video and created a video. I'm not sure how they've done that. But again, you could create this into a video. I have tried to do it within PowerPoint, but I haven't been successful. Uh, if I have a better idea, uh, the team will let you know if we have some idea of how to export this as a video and for it to work. OK, I hope this has been useful. Um, please do come. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask your group lecturers and then we will feed back probably by a blackboard. Uh, 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 or in person, depending on what session you see this in. Okay, take care. Bye.